If you read the IGPL license very, very well, you actually discover discover that uh, also the form is not extre- extremely clear. You know, it's not very well written. Mm. So I believe that uh, no, it's very hard that uh, somebody will authorize to use it uh, in a software as a service setup uh, without any kind of uh, signet paper by the, the, the folks that uh, have the copyright. And mm-hmm. this could be a, a good, uh, I, I think that they did a, a good thing. Switching back. It, it was, you know, you the, basically in this kind of changing setup, you try and you believe that this is very similar to a GPL, people will accept it. Instead, you find uh, cultural assistance and then you step back. It makes sense. I, I can understand that. So you said that you guys are considering licensing updates, let's just say, to paraphrase it. Is uh is AGPL back on the possible table since the SSPL and the AGPL is so similar? Do you think like to be culturally fit again? Let's just say that's a wise consideration. There is, a, I believe, a part of the company that uh, wants to do some change in this direction. However, there is to to basically to find an agreement about that. But uh, I am personally. For my, myself, I am positive about doing this switch, and I will uh, keep the conversation going about uh, about this. Yeah, I think it'd be a a win. I mean, I, we started off with you know basically 15 years ago, and your journey to create it and the pros you know how it prospered in the community. Obviously, BSD license, open source, thrived, beloved to this day, and many mourned its license change because it limited their ability to use it as it was prior to be open source. And I get it. You got the Goliaths and the behemoths and you got the challenges and license changes are sometimes necessary to protect all of your work and the company you built and the customers you've gained that pay you. And then we kind of forget in a way this open source land, this, this thriving free ecosystem that's not just free in dollars but also free in freedoms I, I can feel that you know that tension there obviously but I think it'd be super cool if you guys went back to open source could you imagine Jared that'd be awesome Redis open source again there you go yeah to be honest I will invest uh, my time I'm investing my time uh, both in creating the cultural conditions inside the company but I don't want to stop there also with the vector sets with a, a coding act, I want to to um, in some way show the company also back the Redis way from the point of view of simplicity. Of also one important thing about the vector set data the API compared to the other the other systems that do vector similarity is the trust to the user using them. Instead of exposing a system that is an index, we expose the data structure because uh, Redis users shown us in the past that they are very smart, they are very capable, and they know how to, to use build building blocks in order to shape them exactly for the kind of problem they want to to fix. So this kind of thing is also part. Of, so. Pressing about the license, pressing about the different vibe about in the community. In general, all these changes, this is what I want to, 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 to be some way the flag of mm-hmm. this new revolution inside the Resist company. And uh, I see that I have many, many people that are aligned with this uh, vision. For example, uh, today I received the, the second uh, pull request from the CEO of uh, Redis Labs that hacked the C code in vector sets in order to fix a bug. So in this moment, um, uh, Rowan, which is the, the, the new CEO, is hacking to, to the code that I'm showing uh, uh, to the, my colleagues and uh, sending pull requests. Uh, and uh, since I see he's really a community person that had this kind of uh, basically background, I, can, I believe that the company can be aligned towards this vision. Mm-hmm. Was this one of the reasons for your return or did you find this once you got back that like you wanted to make this cultural change inside or did you see it as a reason to come back to Redis and Redis Labs? 
Honestly, I, 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 I started to think that my comeback could be useful uh, from the point of view of uh, recovering what was created in so many years. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want, you know, after I left Redis, uh, I didn't watch again the commits, whatever, zero. Because I said, okay, I, till my, during my term, I tried to take the, the direction straight, but then now it's too simple to look at the comments I, at the commits and saying, no, this is wrong. If other people are working to the system, you have to, to let them working. But then when I saw the community in some way, the conflict inside the community, I thought that uh, since I, I know a lot of people inside the company and I was sure that many of the technical staff, for example, it's, it's not what they want, wanted happening. I said, maybe, maybe I can return and I can return also without feeling too much stress if I, if I, from the point of the code, I focus on only a subsystem each time. And from the point of the other work I do, I focus on the community. That was the idea.